Namaste Soul Tribe, spiritual healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens, I love you guys, hope you guys are well and safe. Alright, and um, I'm going to read a poem to you guys, because for this reading it's uh, very important that every day you guys uh, remind yourselves why you're here. Remind yourselves uh, that you come first. All right, put yourself first in this season, Aries, okay? Because you're going to have a major opportunity or an offer, but you're going to have to make a choice that's not going to be easy choice to make. You're going to have to leave someone behind or something behind in order to take on this new opportunity or offer that's coming in, okay? But it's very important for you guys to reflect. It's very important for you guys to... uh Go within, okay? Go within. Master your mind, all right? Because somebody's playing mind games with you guys. And then I heard Minecraft. Somebody might be playing Minecraft. That's like a video game, all right? Um, but somebody's playing games with your emotions or they're trying to trick you into signing something or agreeing to something or saying something. So right now, there's a lot of magicians out here that you guys are dealing with, but these are people that are like manipulators. They're like professional manipulators. They get up in your head and they screw with your mind. Okay, so you guys have to make sure that you guys are in tune with your ancestors and your guides and that you're making decisions based on your higher selves and that you love yourself first in every situation. Loving yourself is the beginning of your healing journey. Loving yourself is the hardest thing that sometimes we have to do as individuals because we come from um, orchestrated abandonment. We come from families that like to tear one another apart. We come from um, childhood traumas, all right? We fi find it harder to love ourselves you know, but that's the main thing, that the main key for success, the main key for victory, the main key for happiness is that you love yourself 100%, 100% love yourself. When you love yourself, then you, then you put yourself in high regard. And somebody's starting to see that you loving yourself is interrupting their plan, their evil plan against you, all right? So you loving yourself it's like a monkey wrench in their plan. Somebody had a plan to destroy you, to manipulate you, to put you on the wrong path or steal from you. They're finding it hard to be able to do that because of your self-love and awareness. So just remember, every day the devil takes a shot at you. Every day something happens that makes you upset or tests your strength. Okay, so you got to continue to love yourself. This poem is called Love Yourself. Love yourself like no one can. Your spirit is a reflection of God's plan. Do your part and heal your heart. God will remove the scars like a child's first breath. It is not a test. It is a lesson. To always love yourself, it's important. So be patient and go within. Get rid of sin. I believe we all have a twin, our good side and our bad side. And that's what keeps us alive, our pride. So put the ego aside and let God guide you to eternal light. Amen. Wow. Okay, thank you, Spirit, for that poem. That's going to resonate with somebody watching this video. All right, let's get right into your messages, Aries, and see what Spirit has to say. Yeah, somebody wants you to... Basically, someone's trying to get you to self-sabotage something for yourself. They're trying to make you feel, like, unmotivated or something like... Uh, like you can't make a decision or something is just like impossible for you to do. All right. So you keep going back to the drawing board or somebody has to keep going back to the drawing board because they can't get you to self-sabotage yourself. Either way you look at it, this could be a Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpio, or you could be dealing uh, with somebody um, that's a water sign or you could have water in your chart. This basically, somebody doesn't want you to accept yourself for who you are. They want you to feel like you're going through a loss. They want you to be in sorrow. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to find peace. Per yeah, they want you to have setbacks, self, you know, they don't want you to forgive yourself. Wow. This is somebody that's either in this energy and that woe is me energy, self-sabotaging energy, or this is what somebody wants you to do to yourself. And this is probably what you did to yourself in the past. 
All right, but yeah, two of swords. I can't make up this reading. Two of swords is the energy getting stuck in your head about something, going back and forth, not being able to make a decision or a choice in the situation or the matter. Two of swords is the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You could have this air in your chart. You could have air in your chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and that air in your chart makes you get stuck up in your head too much, overthinking. You need to meditate, transmute energy, and stop overthinking. All right, or the fact that you're busy loving yourself, the fact you can't be manipulated the fact that you're moving forward there's an air sign that's in the two of swords about that because they're uh, now they're in mental prison because you're, you're not falling for the same things you used to fall for in the past you're not reacting the way you used to react you're unbothered all right and somebody's very bothered about this that you're focused on your eight of pentacles your money your craft your work your success all right, and then, uh, yeah, the, the death card in the reverse is basically like somebody here is resisting change. Somebody here is resisting change, okay? But when they come around you or when they deal with you, they know that they have to be up forward. They know that they have to uh, be in this energy of transition or making better choices and decisions because this is the energy you're in. So this person can't match your vibration. So they, they basically try to undermine you, manipulate you, and sabotage things for you. Because they can't do what you do. They can't transmute energy. They can't um, be unbothered. They can't uh, stop overreacting to things. Or this person is just in their dark empath energy and they can't get out of it. They feel like they're stuck in that situation. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. This is somebody that's rushing towards you that because they got something to say. Somebody could be feeling some type of way because you've been ignoring them or you've been um, blocking out the communication with them, whether this is communication on the phone, Texas, or this is somebody that somebody could be from Texas because I said Texas instead of text messaging you. All right. Maybe you're not responding or someone is not responding. It's making you feel some type of way. Somebody's not responding on purpose so that you could be in the two of swords. Don't get in the two of swords if this person isn't responding. Just focus on your eight of pentacles, all right? Somebody's doing something. It's like a mind trick. They're trying to trick your mind, all right, to believe that you aren't as great as you are or that you're not as important as you are or that, you know, whatever you say is invalid. Somebody's doing this on purpose to get you to uh, stop doing what you're doing or to get you to give up or to think not think highly of yourself. So basically, that's why I read that poem, Love Yourself First. Love yourself like no one can, all right? Because this Knight of Swords is a type of person that if they don't get their way, if they don't have their way, if they can't manipulate you, if they can't make you get it stuck in your head, if they can't make you put your guard down and let them do whatever it is that they do all the time when they rush in, all right, with this hostile energy or like this, this person is like entitled to your energy and i also yes no wonder why i heard that song all right this person i wrote it down i heard the song by young blue um your mind still if you ever na, 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 that it gets better with time and say time heals because your mind still so somebody wants you to feel like your mind still like you still belong to them this person making arrangements uh this person's trying to rush in like uh i don't know if they're gonna give you a major offer or they're gonna come in and try to delay your uh path to try to put you in your two of swords or this person is having a hard time rushing in because you're on a new vibration now. This person knows that they, if they want to come towards you, they got to match your energy. They got to be on a higher vibration. They can't come with that deceptive energy because you're going to read through this person. You could read this person. You could read people without the cards. And basically, that, that's why they're having a hard time to manipulate you. Now they're in this stuck energy with the Two of Swords. Because you're steady moving forward. You have accomplishments, achievements, success, accolades from the divine. A lot of healing going on, a lot of uh, plans and arrangements. You could be making plans and arrangements to move somewhere else or move forward. And this is taking off for you guys. Yeah, so there's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that's angry, that's upset, that's bitter, that's scorned because you left them behind or they can't manipulate you anymore. They can't manipulate your situation. Yeah, the moon, the secrets, you work with the full moon. This person thought there was going to be, like, this person thought there was going to be howling at the moon and then something was going to come to an end for you or they was going to do some rituals. It didn't work that way. This person is now going through the two of cups in reverse. This person is losing someone, losing something. Partnerships are ending. Relationship is coming to an end. People are seeing this person for who they really are because they did too many readings on you or spell work on you or they teamed up. 
And whoever they teamed up with, they backing out. They don't want nothing to do with this anymore. Because obviously you're stable with the four of wands or this is where you're headed. All right. And the Knight of Cups really wants to make you an offer, give you an offer, or an opportunity, or just they want to they wanna learn from you or work with you. Now, all right, the Leo energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy is here, and Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Also, Aries, Leo, and Sag. But you're the queen of wands, male or female, all right? Loving yourself, busy loving yourself, busy mastering yourself, busy creating something, all right? With the strength, you had all the strength that you needed to persevere through this situation. Somebody's feeling jaded or like their Nine of Pentacles is in the reverse because the Queen of Pentacles... All right, wanted to delay the Page of Pentacles offer from coming in. The Queen of Pentacles could have tried to throw you under the bus so she could take this offer opportunity away from you. All right, but yeah, she's blocked from the chariot in reverse. Somebody could be having car trouble, car issues. Because of all the dark energy this karmic sent your way, yes, the, 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 the Queen of Swords in the reverse, the lovers in the reverse, and the tower. All right, but somebody was busy trying to destroy your life or your relationship or this opportunity or this Knight of Cups from coming towards you or giving you an offer. All this Queen of Pentacles, uh, Queen of Swords did at the end of the day in this Knight of Swords, all they did, because this could have been a few people, was cause herself a major tower moment. So you could be getting um, recognition or you could be getting a lot of communication coming from the King of Wands. The King of Wands has uh, awakened to something. The King of Wands wants to offer you something. The King of Wands is has removed the Ten of Swords. The King of Wands has been reflecting about you, Aries. So you can expect communication. You can expect this offer. All right, but you do need to uh, love yourself first. Don't, don't let nobody's little side comments affect the way you do your work, okay? Just because... People will do that. Just like yesterday, in yesterday's video that I posted, I channeled that somebody might be passing away, and I said, hey, my condolences, somebody might be passing. You know, they're very sick and ill. And somebody commented a nasty comment on my um, comments. I just they didn't even reply to this person. I'm just letting you guys know that no matter how much you show up in this good energy, no matter how much good intentions you have for something that you're doing, no matter how good you are at it, you're always going to have a naysayer. You're always going to have a karmic. You're always going to have a low vibrational person trying to uh, dim your light by giving you negative feedback or saying something negative about what you're doing. But it's okay. You're not meant for everybody. The people that are meant to support you will support you. They will come in. You're, that will be your soul tribe. All right, the ones that don't support you, they come with negative energy, just weed them out. That's all. You don't got to stop or slow down what you're doing. Yeah, this person was like um, in my comment section, she was like, oh, you have dark, you have such dark energy. Uh, how could you talk about somebody passing away? Well, hello, that's a part of life. Everybody passes away at one point. We don't, you know what I mean? This is just a meat suit. And if somebody's passing away and I pick up on it, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to say it because that could be important for somebody. And yeah, she was very dark energy, low vibrational for even saying that. All right, well, let's keep it moving. That's what I'm talking about. These people like that. Don't let them slow you down. Don't let them stop your shine. Don't let them do any of it, all right? You keep on going. I heard Roger. I heard Regina, Rachel, Raymond. I heard Carrie, Katrina. I heard Tammy. Wow. Holding back. I should have expressed myself better. Somebody knows that they had, they didn't really express themselves the right way to you. So this person made you stay stuck in your head about them. And then you was like, now nah, you made a decision to not speak to them anymore. Because this person is uh, couldn't help it. They was trying to undermine you and manipulate you or get away with something or just, you know, um, have their way. And this person did not express themselves right to you. So now there's a, a, a blockage in communication or this person needs to... Uh, Say what they need to say because they've been holding back. Maybe you've been holding back your love from individuals because, like, they don't know how to express themselves to you. People don't know how to come to you correct and speak to you nicely. All right? Somebody's realizing the mistakes that they made in the connection. I wish I could right my wrongs. This person's working on a, a an offer. Are they working on um, what they're going to say and how they're going to rewrite their wrongs? This person could be actually on the self-love journey. This person could be actually loving themselves. This could be you or the person you're dealing with. Yeah, they definitely want to mend the connection with you. 
all right because it's uh you know they find it hard to be without you like this person's like you're still mine you're you're still you're mine still like that song young blue they really want to fix the connection because like they're having a hard time they don't want to be the runner anymore they don't want to run away if that's what they did they ran from the connection this person is realizing their own mistakes now all right and you value yourself all right so you you're on this new timeline where you value yourself where you have money where you're secure where you're stable all right you're lucky like you're happy you're looking like you're successful but the only thing is is that you're not just going to accept anybody's offer yeah you want love yeah you want a commitment yeah you want a relationship but you're not just going to accept anybody's old offer and and you're not going to accept the disrespect or the way they treat you if they're coming at you on some low vibrational energy you're not accepting it and they know they're running out of time they don't got a lot of time there's not a lot of time to waste because you're fast you're moving fast you're moving forward quickly you have a lot of eyes on you you have a lot of opportunities you have offers so yeah this person doesn't have all the time in the world yeah because you're a better person than they are that's how they feel that they're unworthy of you someone feels like that yeah this person has bad habits they need to detach from their bad habits they could have codependency they could have substance abuse they could have uh you know um they could have sexual addictions right and so they know they got these bad habits they need to work on. This could be somebody in your life where you have to work on some bad habits. All right? Because your love is always there. Their, your love is inseparable. Okay? You guys have a soul tie. You have a soul tie with a karmic that you need to remove. Like a soul tie could be hindering you. A soul tie with a karmic could be blocking your money, your success, your energy. And you and, and th this soul tie needs to go. I keep picking up on the soul tie of some karmic ex of yours that has a real strong hold on you with strong soul tie and they will not let you go so you do have to go to the water to the beach to the river and release them you do have to do some sort of cord cutting meditations and if you did it before and it didn't work then do it again do a stronger one do a longer one don't give up don't give up your healing this soul tie is really blocking somebody from seeing their mistakes and now like i said you guys could be doing a lot of meditating a lot of clearing work a lot of energy clearing work a lot of higher vibrations in your life and now boom finally this soul tie is broken now for this person to realize their mistakes for your actual true soulmate to come in mm. yeah because you are irreplaceable yeah you are irreplaceable you're unforgettable too unforgettable Wow, I wish you understood how I feel. If this person can't express yourself to you, but they want you to read their mind or something, like they wish you would understand how they feel, they need to speak up. If you have to speak up to somebody, Aries, male or female, then speak up. Don't just wait and expect for people to know how you feel because that's how miscommunications happen. That's how this person starts thinking the worst or you started thinking the worst because this person didn't know how to communicate. Wow. Yeah. What else? Yeah, disagreements. You guys could have had a lot of disagreements because this person couldn't express herself. I don't... Oh, wow. So don't don't miss an opportunity because you're not focused on the right thing right now because somebody here is about to miss an opportunity or they missed an opportunity with you. Wow, because they didn't act when they should have. So now you're getting a new blessing, new opportunity. Wow, this is a beautiful card to end your reading. You have a new chapter coming in. All right, I am I am trying to move on. So you're moving on and a new chapter comes in. All right, and that's happening. Commitment. You're going to have somebody give you a commitment, offer you a commitment because they did this somebody else is reminiscing about you, but you're about to have a new commitment come in. So this person is stuck in the past. Maybe that's why you have a soul tie you need to get rid of with this person because they're busy stuck in a past while you're busy moving forward. So it doesn't really resonate with you. So the divine is telling you to go within, go in isolation, go in, like, do, do your reflecting, do your healing. Because a new blessing is coming, a new person, a new opportunity. And, and, and these karmics want you to be stuck in your mind, like going back and forth with your, with your ideas or your thoughts. Or, you know, somebody's doing this. Somebody is really doing this. They could be astral projecting into your energy. They could be doing it in your dreams. They could be doing it through uh, the mirror, mirror work. But somebody is definitely trying to keep you stuck in the past. All right? So every time they come around, it triggers you. If you're still being triggered by somebody when they come around, then you need to still continue to heal. All right? And, you know, say less to this person. Avoid them. 
because they're not good for you, all right? They trigger you. Somebody triggers you, and this person is doing it on purpose, so you need to, like, stand your ground and pull back your energy and work on clearing that energy because you have new things coming in, in your life, my loves, okay? So there's a crazy person yelling outside, so I'm going to end this video. Like, yeah, the gang stalking is real right now at an all-time high. The watchers are at an all-time high, so protect yourselves. Do your spiritual work. I love you guys. If you're interested in a personal reading, my email's down below. If you're interested in liquid gold, crown chakra, protection spray, let me know. They're available. Thank you so much for all your love and support on my channel, for all your likes and subscribes, for your comments and your donations. So uh, if you guys want me to use a certain deck, you guys can feel free to send me a, a, a new deck. If you guys would like to send me a new deck or donate a deck to the channel, email me down below. I would love to uh, accept a new deck from you guys if you want me to use a certain deck. All right. And with that being said, till the next time, namaste.